beautiful spring day here on the property. It feels so good to be back and back to work. We've got a couple of things going on today. First and foremost, yep, it's a burn day. Last summer, fall, winter, we made tons of piles all over the place that we need to get rid of. This is the first one. Just kind of kind of burn them one at a time as we have time and can keep an eye on them. But I'm headed down the hill to on a different adventure. We've decided not to try to tow the trailer up the hill just yet. We're gonna let things dry out a little longer, but we are excited to get our kitchen put together. So I'm gonna unload the kitchen stuff into the bed of the truck, take it up the hill, and we'll come back for the trailer later. <laughs> what the heck? We drive it 1300 miles and it dies at the bottom of our driveway. It sounds like a fuel prime issue to me and uh, I know these Duramaxes have an easy way to prime the fuel system, so I'm just gonna give that a shot. I thought the primer button's supposed to get hard to push when it's primed and it's not getting hard. Well, I'll try to start it. Hey! All right. Just died again. Definitely fuel. I'll try priming again. Okay, we're running. So I'll admit, I did not pack this trailer very well. Well, I packed a lot of stuff in this trailer. I didn't necessarily tie any of it down. Kind of scared about what we're about to see. Oh, I actually don't think any of it moved. Look, even my safety glasses are still sitting on top of the plasma table. I'm really glad we got all this stuff up here without having to make a special trip. But holy cow, loading and unloading it has been a lot of work. I'd also like to take a minute to thank our friend Tim for lending us this trailer. Tim, this trailer has been a tremendous help to us. We couldn't have gotten all our stuff up here without it. Um, so thank you very much for your generosity in lending us your trailer. That is what an entire kitchen in the back of a truck looks like. Now it's time to make it up the hill and we're gonna have a kitchen today, guys. Please start. Ooh, all right. We are headed back and we are going to start building our kitchen because we are ready to have a kitchen. So much happy to be back. It has been over a year since we've had a proper kitchen. And I'm ready for one. The pieces to our kitchen are here and it is time to put them together. Here's how this is going to get a little tricky. Um, it is impossible to get IKEA stuff right now, so there were a few design compromises made. The other side of this is that I had to have half of it delivered to my mom's house up in the Bay Area and the other half delivered to a family friend's house down in Southern California because that's how we were able to find Ikea's that had what we needed in stock. I haven't done an inventory of what we bought. We don't know if it's the right stuff. I hope it's the right stuff, but we're about to find out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think there's probably an easier way, huh? Really? <laughs> I hope the hardware packets are in this box. Christ is averted, Courtney. Here's the hardware. Here's your Phillips screwdriver. <laughs> this is excessive. <laughs> Here you go. Also the wrong kind of hammer, but a little more appropriate. Do some more tapping. No, 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 the other one. That one's gonna waffle. Oh, why would you give this to me? <laughs> it was a joke. Why are you the one that assembles the kitchen and not me? Because it generally requires that you follow the directions. And you cannot 
take it apart again once you've put it together. Click. Oh, that's clever. A tip that I learned last time we did IKEA furniture, because I'm not very good with a hammer and I would always hit my fingers, is just to use a pair of needle nose to hold these little nails and then you don't hit your fingers. You look like a pro with a hammer to me. Those are pajamas. You have cargo pajamas? Yeah, these are my work pajamas. <laughs> Since apparently my way of opening it was not best, we're gonna let Riley open it. I don't think my way is any better. Boom. What's up with your plate, buddy? You're making a mess. Where did Boone's Bull go? No idea. One down, a lot to go. This is why Cordy's in charge. I saw her put that side on, so I just assumed this side went on next, and I went ahead and did it to be helpful. Nope, I didn't follow those directions. It wasn't time for this. So I think I'm gonna go back to sticking to the job I'm good at, which is carrying things upstairs and lifting heavy stuff. Okay, a rally job. She says these are, oh, it is hard to turn. This was about the least expensive temporary solution we could come up with, and it worked. But I'm really excited to have a real solution. Is the gas off? No. The broiler didn't. Light. Oh, I didn't hit start. <laughs> I thought I burned my dinner, but it turns out I never started cooking it. For some context, she yelled, Oh my gosh, the broiler! and ran across the room, only to discover. Nothing had happened yet. While Riley figures out that rail, I'm gonna tell you guys why our kitchen floor plan changed. Originally, it was gonna be laid out how we have the appliances with the fridge over here and this big built-in and the stove right here. This fridge is really big and it sticks out further. I think when I had originally designed this, we were gonna do a counter depth fridge, but the Black Friday sale was on a normal depth fridge. So the fridge in this layout sticks out into this doorway and it's pretty funky. So we decided to change our floor plan and the fridge is gonna go over here and this is just gonna be a shallow built-in so that there's still plenty of room for a hallway. It's not as great of a layout as we had originally designed, but I think it's gonna work just fine. Courtney told me the instructions say to hold the rail up and then mark the holes. And I said, yeah, but I'm not gonna do it that way. I'm gonna do it the way that the IKEA engineer intended us to do it, which is different than the instructions. <laughs> Courtney's giving me a look of... Uh... <laughs> slide these little thingies in that and theoretically the rails in the right spot. 32 and 3 16 That you, was way easier. Do you feel like you kind of like mastered your enemy? Yes I do. I outsmarted their instructions. After two years? <laughs> three years? Oh my gosh we built it wrong. I'm just kidding. Oh. I just got done from taking the dogs out for the night, and look what I found. <laughs> Courtney is fully asleep. Oh. What do you guys think? Should I poke the bear? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> hey! How long were you awake the whole time? I heard you say you were going to poke the bear. <laughs> I don't recommend it. <laughs> I'd like to thank Policy Genius for sponsoring this video. 
We live a life on this mountain that we love, but building our own home does come with its dangers. And with a nickname like Reckless Riley, I'd be lying if I said those what ifs hadn't crossed my mind. Okay guys, I'm on the roof. We've all heard that life insurance gets more expensive as we get older. So with Riley turning 30, it seemed like the perfect time. Policy Genius works to help insurance shoppers understand their options, compare quotes, and buy a policy all in one place. Since 2013, Policy Genius has helped over 30 million people shop for insurance. So click the link in the description below or head to policygenius.com forward slash ambition strikes and answer a few questions about yourself. In minutes, you can work out how much life insurance coverage you need and compare personalized quotes to find your best price. You could save 50% or more on life insurance by comparing quotes with Policy Genius. Their licensed experts will help you understand your options and apply for a policy. And remember that the Policy Genius team works for you and not the insurance companies, so you can trust them to offer unbiased help and advocate for you at every step of the way until you're covered. So thanks again to Policy Genius for sponsoring this video, but it's time to get back to work. Good morning, guys. Um, we had really lofty goals for last night that ended in me falling asleep. What time did we start on our kitchen project? <laughs> Eight o'clock at night. Like, oh, we could totally have this thing done by like 10, 11. <laughs> well, we got two cabinets in, almost. But I think we've got a lot of the details figured out now and I'm looking forward to getting more kitchen done today. The IKEA rail system is really cool because we're able to make this fine adjustment and then it's going to translate to the rest of the cabinets along this rail. I don't think that's going to fit, hun. Maybe at a diagonal? I'll hit the truck. <laughs> it's like a trash chute. <laughs> okay, so even in our new kitchen layout, somehow all of our outlets are still going to work. Like for example, the, the garbage disposal outlet is gonna become our stove outlet. The stove outlet is gonna become our refrigerator outlet. It took some really careful planning to get all that to work out with a new layout, but I think it's gonna work well. So one of those outlets is this outlet up here that's gonna go inside of our upper cabinet and one of them is gonna be switched for a light and the other one's gonna be constant on for some under cabinet outlets. So by breaking out these two little tabs on the side of the outlets, we can separate the neutrals and the hots so that each one of these is a separate circuit. Now of course, moving the oven location means that the gas line we already installed has to get relocated. Any job worth doing is a job worth doing twice. <laughs> Success. Why did we have to um, move this line right now? Because there's a frozen pizza in the freezer for me for lunch. <laughs> and if we don't hook the oven up, how am I gonna cook my pizza? <laughs> Hello. Redoing work is never fun. Um, but I think that instead of getting frustrated by redoing work, I try to just look at what's the finished product going to be. And in this case, it's a working kitchen. So I'll redo everything if I have to. Riley's headed down to turn the gas back on and we are hoping for no leaks right now. You have, why do you have Christmas pine needles in your beard? From that wreath downstairs, <laughs> the Christmas wreath. Any explosions yet? That's not funny. <laughs> I don't smell any gas. I think we're good. That's exciting. <laughs> oh, I'm getting tired of moving appliances around. I'm good. You're good? You're good. 
Oh, that was easy. I think that that rail system is one of the huge advantages to these IKEA cabinets because if you've ever hung an upper cabinet before, it is usually extremely difficult. And stressful on our marriage. So, since we've been back, we've been going the shorter, steeper way. Um, we couldn't go that way all winter because it was just too slick on the steep north facing side. I'm gonna go check on that big pond that was starting to develop on our longer, less steep way. <laughs> Looks like somebody had a bad day. Oh my! <laughs> oh man! That is a full blown pond. Back in the fall before the snow came, I had dug this area out right here to allow the water to be able to drain that direction. When I did that, I didn't realize that this entire basin was going to fill up with water like this. This is crazy. I would say it's about two feet deep right there in the center. I would definitely say that I think the natural drainage is probably off this direction and it would be wise to put in a big ditch and move this whole road uphill a little bit. So it is exactly one year since Courtney and I first looked at this property for sale. So we've now had an opportunity to see all 12 North Idaho seasons. You guys think I can make it through the pond on the four wheeler? I'm gonna try taking the alternate route. One of my absolute favorite parts of doing an Ikea kitchen is how easy it is to add drawers because drawers are my favorite way to add storage to a space. It definitely adds a more cost to add drawers to the kitchen, but I think that it's totally worth it for the storage. So let's see if I remember how to put these together. There's more pieces than I remembered. I think the gist is that this goes like, like that. Guy with the grooves down. Oh, there we go. They say don't use an impact, but I don't have all day, so I'm gonna use it. I ordered the colors for this kitchen without seeing them. I just went off of online pictures. I'm about to open this for the first time and find out if the color that I chose for the lowers in the kitchen area is good or not. Oh, okay, it looks awesome. I'm very relieved right now, it looks really good. I think this dark color on the lowers is gonna look awesome. It should just, click. <laughs> okay, you guys, we're about to find out if I assembled the first drawer correctly and if it fits and closes properly. Here we go. First drawer going in. I think I did that. Oh, oh, it fits. Heck yeah. Nice job. Ooh. Did you hear that? Me neither. <laughs> Delivery. All right, next parts. We seem to have come a little short. Literally. How did, I don't understand, how do we? Okay, so this should just, that. Okay, we're good. Now we screwed in. Okay, so here's our solution to the two short of return panels. We cut this, 
pointing at the right one. We cut this panel short and are resting it on top of the cabinet rather than going all the way to the floor. Once the refrigerator's in there and the cabinet doors are on and the countertop's on, you won't be able to tell. And then on, on this side, it's short of the ceiling. And so we're gonna use the cutoff piece from that one to finish it off all the way up to the ceiling. Had to get a little creative with that one because we didn't have enough material, but it's gonna work and it's gonna look great. Wow. Two for two. Move the refrigerator time if we can move it. It has wheels, right? Wait, it sounds like they're not sliding. I don't remember anything from this day. I think I blocked it out of my memory. I trust you, but it doesn't really look like that is gonna fit in there. No, it doesn't. I measured it at least once. Okay. Ah! Oh. No. <laughs> okay, you guys, is it gonna fit? It's set. What are you telling me? I'm trying to decipher everything I bought because it doesn't really make sense. <laughs> buy drawers for the lowers because I bought five medium drawers. I don't know. We'll figure it out eventually, I guess. Wait, you're just taking the whole thing? Walking to the spot where it goes. Oh, one of the feet came off. Okay. Can you come down? Okay. Cutting a hole off of the outlet that's gonna charge Courtney's vacuum cleaner. Why is it my vacuum cleaner? Uh, because I don't know how to use it. <laughs> oh, you're getting up too heavy. Ah, oh. don't hold. You're shaking up too heavy? What happened? I added two inches to my dimension. I was supposed to have subtracted <laughs> two inches. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be right here. Yeah. Just take that cut out and stick it <laughs> in, in that in, hole. In that hole. <laughs> that what happened here? I have no idea what that hole is for. What kind of doofus put that one there? And the, the bubbles in the lines, how, how level are we going for? There you go. Yeah, it looks really good. I'm moving it. But the, it's not even clean in there. Well, I need to charge my vacuum so I can clean it. <laughs> What a mess. <laughs> How many? Measure three times and cut, <laughs> cut one. I don't think that's what that means. <laughs> So 
So here's the deal, guys. Bigger cabinets are always more cost effective and better storage, but Ikea doesn't have any big cabinets in stock right now, so we had to make do with what they had, which means we ended up with more smaller cabinets than I would have liked. Courtney must have gone through 200 iterations trying to come up with a kitchen that we could get. And she did a great job of doing that. And we, uh, now we're gonna have a kitchen which is better than no kitchen. Remember this morning when you promised me that we weren't gonna get ahead of ourselves? Yeah, it's one of those projects <laughs> where it's like you finally start getting rocking and rolling and you feel like you're making progress and then you realize you forgot something. Like a return panel. So yet again, and now I cut out it's in the wrong place because this cabinet needs to screw oh, half no! an inch. Oh no, I didn't even think about that. We couldn't get the 94 inch tall cabinets, so we went with the 80 inch tall cabinets, but we couldn't get the 80 inch return panels, so we had to go with the 94 inch return panels. So I've got to cut them down to size, but we'll just put the cut edge up and you'll never see it. That looks amazing. What is it going on in here right now? This looks like Pac-Man. Stuff everywhere, but it's time for me to eat my pizza. So a mandatory item for me in this kitchen was a dishwasher. But this dishwasher has been a pain. It keeps messing up our kitchen layout and causing problems. And I think we had finally figured out a layout that was gonna work. But now that we're starting to do it, I think we're gonna need to rearrange the living room to make this work. So long-term plan is to have my office somewhere else, maybe in an addition, but I think then there'll just be like uh, one or two sitting chairs right here. So the question is, can we get away with having a kitchen that sticks out? I think the answer is yes. We're both really hesitant to make things more crowded in here because it is a really small space, but we want to have a kitchen that's functional and that has plenty of place to work because we both do enjoy cooking and are looking forward to doing a lot more of it. Um, and yeah, I think having two more feet of countertop is going to be a big difference. Wow! I think that's totally fine. I think, yeah. I think we're worrying about something that's not a problem. It's, it's a smidge funky, but not funky enough for me to care. Plus I get a dishwasher. Plus you get a dishwasher and way more counter space, like. And counter space to the left and right of the same. Yeah. Well, I think that's about as much as we're gonna get done tonight. I'm so tired. I'm so happy with how the kitchen's turning out and I cannot believe how much work we got done today. It has been so fun to be back up here at the property and making progress on our project. Each and every day it becomes more and more of a home. We're gonna go to bed. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in a few days because we've got some more work to do. Wait, are you moving in? Yeah. <laughs> Just all the, this thing. <laughs> I'm getting this thing out of my house. <laughs> that one drawer has more room for food than our entire camper. Uh, it's almost pretty enough to sleep in.